हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दिस चैनल दैट इज़ ऑन एंड्रोलॉजी एंड मेंस हेल्थ अवेयरनेस सो द प्रीवियस टॉक वाज आई हैड कवर्ड एज एस परमिया सो व्हाट आर द कॉज ऑफ एज एस परमिया सो नाउ द डिफरेंशिएट इनटू टू दैट इज ऑब्स्ट्रक्टिव एंड नॉन ऑब्स्ट्रक्टिव नाउ गोइंग टू डिस्कस नॉन ऑब्स्ट्रक्टिव एज एस परमिया दैट मींस दैट द टेस्टिस इदर इज नॉट गेटिंग इनफ स्टिमुलेशन फ्रॉम द ब्रेन टू मेक स्पर्म व्हिच आर एडिक्वेट इनफ फॉर देम टू कम आउट इनटू द इनटू द सेमिनल फ्लूइड or the testicle itself even after hormonal stimulation is unable to the testicle even after hormonal stimulation is unable to uh, this is for example for a testicle is unable to produce sperm to a certain threshold so that they can come out into the seminal fluid so these are the two types of non obstructors for me so the for the hormonal stimulation there are certain hormones secreted by the pituitary and only after adequate amount of stimulation when the testicle reaches a particular threshold of sperm production Does the sperm appear in the ejaculate? That is, that is when the hormonal stimulation is less, or in case when the hormones are less, the testes might have the capacity for for sperm production, but it has to cross a certain threshold of sperm production so that when it crosses the threshold, the sperm appear in the ejaculate. So, if for an for example, if the testes ca- testes has a production capacity of thousand, but in, it is producing approximately hundred. Because of the decreased hormonal stimulation, with hormonal stimulation, this stimulation can be increased from 100 to to 200. Then 200 can be the threshold beyond which the sperm will appear in the ejaculate, and then they'll keep on increasing up to 300, 400, and the capacity of the testes will increase because of the hormonal stimulation. And the patient who is having zero sperms will have sperms enough for natural pregnancy, or sometimes if not natural, assisted uh, assisted uh, te- uh, technologies for reproduction can be used, which I will discuss. so this is this is hormone when there is la- lack of hormonal stimulation or there is secondary effects because of the decrease hormone there is secondary testicular failure as the testes though are not capable of producing sperm are not producing because there is lack of hormonal stimulation such patients can benefit from hormonal stimulation this hormonal stimulation can be required from 3 to 6 months sometimes this hormonal stimulation may be required for a greater amount of time or even injectable hormonal stimulation may be required and they can be so we're appearing in the ejaculate which can be used for assisted reproduction or sometimes in a few cases natural pregnancy also may be possible so that is the non obstructive is formed due to decreased hormonal production the another cause of there is non obstructive is formed that is when there is azospermia there is no sperm in the ejaculate and that and the testes are dysfunctional this is the second cause the testes even after a lot of hormone stimulation from the brain that is from the pituitary are unable to produce Sperms. Either they produce sperms in very less quantity, or they are unable to produce sperms. So this I will have to explain in detail. Before I move on to that, very important is the I have to explain what is test tube baby and how it has changed the management of these patients who have zero sperms and whose testes are not capable of producing sperms. So in test tube baby, test tube baby can be either in 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 vitro fertilization as it is commonly called or intracytoplasmic single sperm injection so what happens is even if 10 to 20 sperms are found in the ejaculate or if 10 to 20 sperms are found in from the testes if 10 to 20 sperms are found in the ejaculate or 10 to 20 sperms are found in the testes these are put along with the ovum that is the female egg which has been harvested from the female during a particular phase of cycle they are put they are grown in a test tube and they are incubated and once it reaches an after after a few days it reaches an 8 to 10 cell stage which is good enough for it being implanted into the womb of the female so after this stage has been achieved this has been this is an implanted into the womb of the female and pregnancy is possible even a single sperm even a single sperm can now be injected into the ovum the sperm and ovum they can be injected into each other and grown into an embryo and harvested into that is put into the womb of the female so this has this ICSI and IVF has changed how a male with azospermia or near azospermia with only few sperms can be can have a father or biological child meaning that that even if this even if the testes may, may not be able to produce so much so many sperms that they come out in the ejaculate but inherently there are a few areas within the testes where the sperm is production is there or there is hypospermatogenesis or that means that the sperms are being produced in less quantity not enough for it to spill out into the ejaculate so as as we can see in such cases there can be different patterns as we can see mark many excess so in, in this is a pattern in which there there is testicular production inside so sperm production inside the testes 
but it is diffuse at different different places so these are this is a diffuse pattern or it can be sometimes in a focal pattern where it is located only in certain places so for this diffuse pattern if we put a needle if we do a if we do a biopsy with a needle put a needle and we get testicular tissue and the, uh, this testicular tissue is then sent to the embryologist and then if the sperm are attained they can be frozen or they can be used for test tube BB so when there is a diffuse pattern definitely there is a chance that that also there can it be there is a 1 in 3 chance that in patients who has a spermia the testis is although not producing not fully capable of producing the full quantum of sperm but producing few sperm in diffuse areas then this needle needle TSA as we call it can help in achieving uh, in acquiring sperm even in patients with azospermia so this would be the first step of needle this is the first basic step of trying to get sperm in a patient with azospermia but in the other case as we see there is very diffuse pattern so in this case if we this is we do not know this we just know that this test is azospermic and we are going so if we go in a particular area we are very, very less chances the chances of us getting able to reach this area where there is sperm by needle is less so particularly in such cases still you might wonder that there, there are very few chances still there are chances of sperm retail I will show you how so in such cases after the needle needle procedure has failed or when the needle procedure regime is not adequate and especially when the testis is very small the needle will go through and through and then uh, therefore the, there is no point in the needle procedure in such cases we cut open the testis by wall bit and as you can see and when, when we by wall bit there will be these small small areas of sperm production diffuse here here and maybe here so this is now viewed under microscopic vision microscopic vision with at least 25 x magnification to see the small size of tubules the tubules is where the sperm production takes place and the big tubules are picked up selectively so as we see as you can see then this was closed we had no idea it was a diff it could have been anywhere but once you open anywhere the sperm production could have been anywhere so once we open but we and we see with the microscope we do a thorough scanning complete thorough scanning by while while the testes and if any large tubules they will pick it up and there can be sperm and these even single sperm or even a few sperm can be used in test tube baby and uh, uh, and the uh, azospermic man can father a biological child after that again the rest is closed and its integrity is maintained so and this can be done on both sides this procedure is a very strenuous procedure this is called the micro dissection TSA so the uh, micro dissection TSA how it is done the surgical video will be there on my uh, other channel but uh, yeah so this is uh, another channel that is not so much for the layman but this is the basic as in how one can attain sperm even in patients with non obstructors that is with azospermia zero sperm but the testes inherently might have few areas of sperm production and this is done by micro dissection it takes 3 to 4 hours and it has to be done on both sides and it has to be done in an operating microscope which has 20 to 25x magnification again to reiterate it is a diffuse pattern there is a chance we will get with the needle but in case we fail fail with the needle because it is uh, with the needle it is it, as we can see it's a blind procedure we are going inside this is multiple locations so then there is no particular chance it's a chance thing that we'll get sperm with that needle biopsy but if there is a diffuse pattern if there is sufficient enough production then we will get a few sperm only with the needle so you do not want to harm the testes too much we go in with the needle if we do not find sperm then we cut it open and look for sperm as i had explained cut it open into two and like that this by wall of the testes and look for those sperms and then if there is a diffuse pattern with so many areas of spermatogens definitely we will find sperm and an azospermic and an azospermic male can be multiple areas and definitely we will find sperm very few areas will go deep dissect and look for sperm and in this way even an azospermic male with de decreased production of sperm in the testes can uh, other biological child when the sperm is used in district baby for doing all this very important is being female evaluation has to be and has to be done simultaneously and she has to be optimized because this to baby is a very painful procedure for the wife and hence we would recommend that we do all the steps in one if you prepare a female and then we go in for a needle biopsy 
followed by cutting open and if you find sperm then we do it in the same procedure so that the wife does not undergo too much trauma of repeated stimulation like as in if you first we go for sperm wife is stimulated by only needle then second time we cut open so that is a lot of trauma to the female so all it is a single step procedure which is what we recommend these days especially if the patient is financially independent the chances of finding sperm in such patient depends on the individual patient that is the testicular size the hormonal levels and the examination findings so it has to be individualized and the patients and the couples are counseled according to their specific findings what are the chances of getting sperm why this is the needle tissue or the cut open one that is the micro dissection tissue and what is the cause of this azospermia if one will ask is there is in this patient with azospermia there are when the disease is not able to produce sperm most likely it is due to genetic problems the genetic problems not all of them have been identified whole genome sequencing is required and then maybe you will find identify a gene so that could have been the cause so this genetic counseling and the genetic findings which are genetic defects which have caused these uh, causes as spermia they are uh, they are varied and vast so that cannot be explained but, but a particular couple requiring genetic counseling or genetic testing will be advised so as per requirement and as per the examination i know some of them have a particular disease called klinefelters and they they require particular genetic investigation so this will be covered in my later complex talk but this is basically for now as a spermia i hope it was a informative talk as to how a man with non obstructive as a spermia that is this defect in their testes itself for the hormonal production can father biological child even with a very few sperms i hope it was informative and kindly like and subscribe the channel the next video will be on obstructive causes whether the obstruction of the sperms and hence the sperm obstruction the pathway of the sperm from the testes to the penis and hence in these patients have infertility so kindly like and subscribe thank you